How's everybody doing out there in the skateboard world? It's another episode of Gary Response. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick my phone up, place my eyes on the senses in front of me and do what I gotta do. Let's go. Buttery Skater says, Gary, if you were gonna be a dad, would you leave or stay? I'm staying, cause I gotta own up to what I did. If you can't take the heat, don't go in the kitchen. And I like the kitchen. Roman Skate says, why are you banned from Woodward? Once again, not 100% sure. Made a lady cry with, you know, by saying uh, something that I don't remember. I didn't do it intentionally. They wouldn't tell me, so I don't, I really don't know, but I can't go back and they not fucking with me. I could care less. Um, Kyler Torgan says, what's harder to watch? Ronda Rousey get knocked out or Aaron Cairo street part? I'm gonna go with Ronda on this one. Cause that was fucked up. <laughs> Got rocked. Les Rima 88 says, did Gary just hit puberty? Uh, nah, I actually lost my voice. I was super screaming that day, so. Or like a week, like the day before that. Back to young Gary. Jamie Deegan says, who would win in a game of skate? Lil Wayne or Justin Bieber? I'm gonna go with Justin Bieber on this one. I have seen that kid do way more flip tricks than I have Lil Wayne to date. Lil Wayne still sags tight pants, so he's not flipping shit. Bieber does the same thing, but the big ass sky tops helps the board turn over. Nick Worldwide says, y'all hating on this man Aaron Cairo, but he probably taught you half the tricks you know. Let's be real here. <laughs> he ain't teach me shit. He's a good guy though. <laughs> Chris G says, Gary, have you ever skated in Cincinnati? Shout out to the Blacklist Board Shop and all the 86ers. No, I haven't skated in Cincinnati yet. There's places I gotta go, man. I'm telling you, I'm gonna go soon. I'm gonna come skate with everybody in a minute. Australia, Japan, Hawaii, I'm coming. France, Spain, I'm coming. And y'all, gonna pay for it. Um, Hannah Raymond says, Gary, I love your shoes. It's so fucking sick. Send me one. I'm so fucking broke. All right, since you're broke, if you skate, give me a back lip on that tour. I'll throw you a pair. Built the rail back. Back lip it. Throw you a pair. Ben on Dale says, Chris Johnson needs to find that fence in Ghetto Bird. You mean the one that them niggas front side flip? You know what's crazy? That I'm not gonna even, like, I was gonna be like, nah, that's crazy, but it's not. No. John Hill says, Jack Curtin thing didn't really make sense. I've been seeing footage of him constantly for years. I was laughing at the rest of the time, you best believe. What we meant about to say about Jack Curtin is that there was a lot of kids before 1947 that didn't know that he actually had been doing switchback nose blunts for years. I know who Jack Curtin is. Jack Curtin's like really beast, but I was just trying to point out the fact that nobody really thinks about Jack Curtin often as they should for how good he is. Nicholas Frias, how do you feel about Mike? Mikey Taylor's impact on Alex Midler. Shout out to the Glug Glug boys. Glug Glug is crazy. Shout out to you guys. The Glug Glug. All right. I actually could care less about the impact that they're having on each other. They're two rich sons of bitches. You know, they have tons of fun. They just go out, they skate. I think it's beasts. They both do front feebles and shit. Now, if Mikey Taylor was some crazy drug addict with a small head, I would get it. But no, he's a long face, smiling son of a bitch. And that nigga's awesome. Alex Miller will hopefully come into an awesome kid because he was on the path of bitches for a long time. The JB90 says, did you ever try snow skates? No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. Is that like with the boards not shot to your feet? I seen footage from them niggas. The dudes that do that are fucking gnarly as shit. That, oh my God, is on another level. Adrian Element Jimenez says, how's the Thrasher Boys doing? Any future videos coming out soon? Yeah, we just had a music video where we are acting crazy. We filled up tons of alcohol bottles with water. We had, you know, a whole bunch of fake props. We're doing good. Skate videos are coming, grip tapes coming, a lot of stuff coming from Thrasher Boys. Clothes, merch, merch is coming. So wait for that. Gary, I'm injured, can't shred the gnar for six months. Hella sad faces, depression. And to make it worse, the skate park I go to most is closing, which is the fun box skate park. Shout out to them. Keep me posted on the newest stuff, Gary, please. I got you while you're sitting in bed, bedridden. For the next six months, your boys got you, man. Jarek Say says, we're the king of the roads. They're coming, nigga, just wait. We promise they're gonna be somewhere on Thrasher. We don't just not show them. They're gonna, except for that one year where we actually completely did not show them, but they'll show up. Sludge Mudge. Gary, what are the origins of skate line? Right here on Metro. It's Origins is where we started this. We started a mini ramp, then we ended up in a cave one time, under a freeway, under a small bridge, train tracks, then here, right here, in the stew. It's as homemade as it gets. That's it, man, that's where it came from. It came from just us thinking and boom. So, that wraps up another episode of Gary Responds. I hope I answer all the questions that need to be answered. Y'all know.